welcome back again to another tutorial hope you are doing well in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this pinna for peplum top this has been trending is a requested video it's a reversible pinna for top so i'm going to be making use of two different fabrics i'll be adding interfacing to it this is a very light interfacing so let's get started we'll start with the upper part we'll be cutting out the upper part I'm cutting out the front and the back together. I'm just cutting out everything together. We have two fabrics here, the front and the back. And this is uh, the other fabric, front and back. I'll be cutting out the front and the back together. And we'll make a line here. This is my starting point. So I'll go ahead and place the measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches. I'll minus 1 inch from that 8 inches. So I'll place 7 inches here. So I'll be using 3.5 inches for the wideness of the neck. I'll use 1.5 inches for the back depth. And use 3.5 inches for the front depth. I'll go ahead and connect it. This is the back and this is the front. I will go to the shoulder here where I marked 7 inches. I will come down 1 inch from the shoulder. And connect it. The dress full length is 25 and a half inches. And the half length is 17 and a half inches. I will minus the half length from the full length. 25 and a half minus 17 and a half is 8 inches. So the peplum will be 8 inches. Why the upper part is 17.5 inches. So I'll be adding band to it. I'll be using 2 inches for the band. I will minus 2 inches from the 17.5 inches. 17.5 minus 2 inches is 15.5 inches. So this is 15.5. Shoulder, 7 inches is the shoulder. Okay. I will go to the waistline here and mark the boss point. I will use the boss point for the waistline here. The boss point is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches. So I'll mark 4 inches here. I will connect it like so. So don't forget to add your half inch sewing allowance. I will go to the lower part here, add half inch sewing allowance. I will add half inch here, go to the upper part, add half inch. I will also add half inch here. Half inch is enough for me to join this side and the other side. I will go ahead and cut it out. I'm cutting out the back neckline. So I'll open up everything. I will use these two for the front. And these two for the back. I'll cut out the front neckline. I will split the front part open. I will just use a quarter of an inch to stitch it together here because I added half inch here. I use a quarter of an inch and use a quarter of an inch on the side. So I will set this aside. I'll be cutting out the peplum. So for the peplum side, I want it very full. I'll be making 1080 degree circle. 
for the lower part i want it very full i'll be cutting out three circles for each fabric how do we get 1080 degree fillet i will simply divide the waist measurement by three the waist measurement i'm working with is 33 inches divided by three is 11 inches so i will further divide that 11 inches by 6.28 which gives me 1.7. The length of the pear pump is 8 inches. I'll be adding 1 inch for sewing allowance, joining at the upper part and the lower part. So that's 9 inches. I will add the 9 inches to this 1.7 inches. So plus 9 is 10.7. So I'll be cutting out 10 and a 3 quarter for the fabric. This is one of the fabrics. I'll be using this to cut out the remaining flag. To measure it out, you will fold your fabric into two like so. I measure it. I have more than 10 and 3 quarter here. This is already folded into two. And I will fold it again. Now my fabric is folded into four. We're cutting out flag. If you have been following me, you know we've done series of this video on my channel. So I have my fabric folded into four. The radius is 1.7 inches plus 9 inches for the pep lump. That is 10.7 inches. So I'll mark 10.7 inches round. So I will connect it like so. Now we go ahead and cut it out. Out so we mark the radius. The radius is 1.7 inches, one and three quarter. So we mark 1.7. I will cut this out and use this to cut out the rest. I will cut out three of these for this fabric and cut out three of these for this fabric. So that's 1080 degree circle. I will use this to cut out everything. I will also cut out the interfacing. So guys, I've cut out everything. I have six interfacing here. This is a very light interfacing. I have six here. Three for this side and three for the other side. I will still iron a very light interfacing on this, the upper part. So we'll set this aside. So we open up the pep lump. This is the wrong side. So I will open this up. So I will take one of the interfacing. These require a lot of ironing. So I will just take two like this, just open up two. Face them against each other, then the iron will hit the other side. Make sure the shiny side is facing the wrong side of the circle. So I will take this up like so. I will join both of them together and iron them because I have a lot to iron. So the way I do it, I'll just place these two like this. Iron it. So the heat on this side will also extend to the lower part. I also cut out the waistband. I will iron interfacing on the waistband as well. This time is two of the waist measurement. And the length is three inches. I will use one inch for sewing allowance for the upper part and the lower part. I cut the waistband for the other fabric as well. I will go ahead and iron the interfacing on it and come back to you guys. So I finished ironing the interfacing on the pep lump and the upper part. I split all the flag open. What I will do is I will, I will take this right side facing right side, join them together with half inch. So I will join the two flag together. Join this side with half inch. I will do the same thing for this other fabric. I will also put this together. This is the back side. So I will place it like so. This is the front right side facing right side. I will use half inch to join the shoulders. I will do the same thing for this side. 
I'll join them together. So guys, I've joined the flare together. See how it's looking already. So I've opened up the seams. I iron it. I've opened up this as well. I will join the two fabrics together. Right side facing right side. I will make sure I match the seams. Yeah, right side facing right side. So I'll match the seams, the two seams together. Before I join them together, I will go ahead and make a little curve at the front side. So I will join these two. I'll hold these two front together. This side is open and this side is open. So I will join them together. I'll make a little cover. I'll just use scissors to cut a little bit out. So I'll use half inch to join them together, the lower part here. I'll stitch it right from here all the way to the other side, the bottom side. So I'll also join the upper part together. Make sure you iron this in part so everything needs to be flat. So we join them together, right side facing right side. I'll use half inch to stitch the neckline, bring it all the way to the side. I will stitch the side also and stitch the side. I will leave the bottom part open here and here. So guys, I'm done joining the side together. I've also joined the pep lump. I turn it inside out and they press it very well. So I notch it round before I press it. If you're pressing it, make sure everything is flat. This side is not popping on this side and this side is not popping on this side. I will concentrate on this. I will turn it right from here. And I just turn it from here. So make sure you notch it round before turning it inside out. I'll press it very well. So that's it for this side. So what we are going to do, I will take one of the bands, look for the midpoint of the band. Now look for the midpoint of the pep lump. I will match them up. Right side facing right side. So this band should match the fabric. Then you take the other side and match it on this side. The pep lump will be between the bands. I will stitch it all the way and bring it down. I'll do the same thing for this side. Stitch it all the way. I'm done joining the band to the pep lump. It's looking beautiful already. After attaching it, turn this inside out and uh, give it a good press. We're going to join the upper part to the pep lump. So I will look for the midpoint of this. This is the back side. I will look for the midpoint.
I will fold this also into to look for the midpoint. This is the midpoint. I will make sure the fabric matches together. So I will take half inch. Head. I will press it with pressing iron. I will press the half inch all through. I'm pinning this other side. So when I get to the edge here, I will take it inside like so. Just pin it down. So I'm going for the midpoint. I will use pin to hold them together. I will fold this side also inside. So I will take this front side. This is the front mid part. So I'll make sure I place it here. Let it match with this bed plump here. Make sure they are aligned together. The bed plump and the upper part. I will place it between the band. So I will take this side, place it exactly where the bed plum started from, and I will stitch them together. I've ironed my half inch inside. I will stitch it here, all the way to this side. So guys, this is the finished look. Of the top, I'm going to join everything together. Very neat and beautiful. So this is the other side. So that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching please like and share this video if you're here for the first time please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much guys i will see you in my next one love you bye